I am so excited. The brand new Stay PG collection is here. The new Stay PG Spring Collection is at staypg.com. We have pillows, we have pajamas, and we have a cool friendship bracelet. I am so excited. So check it out at staypg.com. It's that time again. Yes, the time where I am going to get tattooed. Not only am I going to get tattooed, but I am actually getting tattooed twice. I have two tattoo appointments this weekend and that never happened. So basically I scheduled this appointment months and months ago and then like a couple days ago I scheduled another appointment for October but I was on a cancellation list and they're like we have a cancellation on Saturday. Do you want it? I said yes because why not just have the same healing two weeks? You know I'm not going to be able to swim, work out <laughs> like I was doing that anyway or you know be out in the sun while these two tattoos heal. Also I want to make a note that I don't have a new camera yet but I'm getting a new camera with a microphone attachment to hopefully help with some of the echoing and I got the critiques um we were trying out a new editing software that auto cut space between words that i say and we are not doing that anymore i heard your critiques you guys were like please stop take a breath i do talk fast in my normal vocabulary cadence i take a beat okay i'd be taking a lot of beats over here this is a friendly reminder that if you don't like tattoos that's okay i like tattoos and i'm 27 i got my very first tattoo at 23 and i really think that everybody should at least wait until they are like of drinking age before they get tattoos it just makes sense you know they're on your body forever i waited to really know what i wanted but also i wasn't allowed to get tattoos i was in a relationship that was like <laughs> I will dump you. I digress. I'm happy with the way I look. They make me feel like me. And if you don't like them, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna keep on doing things that make me happy. And you should too. Not to brag or anything, but my credit score went up. Look at that. Very, very exciting. My credit score is like 780. Like it's... She's up there. Let's take a look at the outfit of the day. So I have my sweater from Cider, which you guys probably saw in the last vlog. I'm excited to wear, I'm excited to give it a go. We have ourselves a little tennis skirt and then we have these little Gucci loafers. I am not sure how I like them with the full outfit. Then I may or may not change them. Also I have my Jackie bag out. I am super excited because I finally, finally unpacked all of my handbags. So Jackie is coming with us today. And overall, I think it's just such a cute little spring fit. Wish me luck. I should probably eat something so I don't like pass out. I mean, ugh. I love when all of my accessories match. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. And then of course we have my favorite gum of all time, Big Red. If you're not a fan of Big Red, I'm really sorry. I used to not be either, but just give it another try. You might really like it. How are you today? Good. I've uh, got my office under control. Mm -hmm. I just need a couch. And an just end a couch. And maybe a rug. His office is very empty. I'll show you guys. Again, we are waiting to do the full house tour until more stuff comes in. We are missing some things. But here's what Zach's place has going so far. Super couch slash rug, and then, you know, end table, but then otherwise this side's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Very exciting news, guys. Remember how I said Zach and I don't have a smart home? Well, now? We're connected to the internet, baby. <laughs> so we used to have speakers all throughout our house at our old home, and now we don't. So we just have the speakers. So now it's like, okay, Google. Sorry, that's not how you do it. Hello, Google? I don't know, but I found these results on search. Hey Google, play Spotify. Playing some music on Spotify. Mm-hmm. That's what it is, baby. I'm gonna be late. We can't find the car. We haven't been in the car for a couple of days. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. We made it. I know, I'm fretting. So no fret. I cannot find my car. Here, let me look. Let's walk this way. Okay. We can't remember where we parked. It's one of those situations. We're making it. It's gonna be okay. I can't even reference the last one. I'm not up yet. <sighs> Breathing heavy. You know you did it. Maybe we're going out the wrong doors. We made it past elevators, right? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I swear there's a door. I swear. I was gonna say, now it's going back to the apartment just to go down the exact same way we came. This is, no, we're not gonna get locked <laughs> out again. All right, we'll have to update you guys. The car is missing. I am taking this vlog really quick because I wanna take it because we're running a little bit late because of the car fiasco. Basically, I haven't told you guys this, but I am getting an NFT tattooed on my body today. Isn't that crazy? Wait, what? <laughs> Are you joking? Live? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, so the thing is, I'm gonna show you guys after. Now, before I get into how I feel about NFTs, I don't have a strong opinion. And before you berate me for being like, you support NFTs, I only have one, and I bought it with the purpose of getting it tattooed onto my body. And I think I'm gonna like title the vlog around that. People are gonna click in and they're gonna think I'm some crazy crypto lady when 
and really like, it's just not about that. I know about NFTs, I'm not super into them. I actually, Zach bought the NFT for me because I didn't know how to buy it myself. So I was like, can you buy this for me? He said yes. And now we're gonna get it tattooed. Are you excited, Emma? I'm so excited, are you joking? I support anything that you do. <laughs> I didn't know you were actually doing it. What if I get like an, what if I get like an, one of those ugly monkeys tattooed on me? Ew, I really get an NFT. <laughs> oh my gosh, what do you think it is? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm shook. I thought you were getting a flower or something normal. No, no. Tomorrow I'm getting flowers. Today we're getting an NFT and maybe some flowers. I have a half day booked. Oh my god, this is actually, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, we're at Electric Fields. We are here again with Trey. I'm very excited. She already knows what I'm getting tattooed on me. I just sent it in um, and she volunteered to tattoo it. So. Oh, really? I'm so, so I'm, I'm still, I'm shook. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a big reveal after this. Like, you're not gonna see it until it's done. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna get a tattoo. You'll, I mean, you just got one. <laughs> wow, Megan! <laughs> Ooh! That looks so good. Are you so excited? Are oh, you yeah, so I'm happy? I'm so excited. Yeah! I it. It's Icarus! We love it. We love an NFT. Emma's like screaming because um, her shorts are too tight. Ow! It, it hurts. Your girl's too thick. This is an awful lighting situation. But yes, guys, I got Icarus tattooed on me. Loving the symbolism of flying too close to the sun. Honestly, I feel like this tattoo is one of the ones that actually has meaning to me, which is cool. So like, yes, it's an NFT. I had to buy an NFT to get this artwork tattooed. The artist of the tattoo, he like is in the Netherlands. He's never coming to the US. He does not allow other artists to tattoo his work but because I bought the NFT I hit him up can I get this tattooed he said yes so that is why I got it I don't know I just felt like you guys know my mental health journey on this channel has been kind of crazy lots of ups lots of downs at one point I was running like five YouTube channels and that was a lot I really do feel like I flew too close to the Sun at that point I was trying to do everything all at once between merch and YouTube and live streaming and everything else that I was trying to do so yeah it's pretty symbolic to me it's a little bit of a reminder to just quit and and take some time to yourself and do not fly too close to the sun. No, I love that symbolism. Yeah? It's really, really cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to show Casey. He loves Greek mythology. Like, Ooh, he'll love it. He's going to like. It's so clean. He's it looks gonna so freak good. out. Yeah. So now we're heading to Tyson's. Yay! Let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Get it. Dennis, see you there. The Drew dance? You know how he always just like, mama did. <laughs> do the Drew dance. No, I refuse. Wait, the Drew is here. He'll do it. He does like all the Fortnite dances. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So we made it to Tyson and Carla's. We're a little early and um, there's a lot of food here and I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I've never been hungry. I'm hungry every time. You turn the camera on me, you're like, are you hungry? Yes. Yeah. the Italian and you always hungry. I just need some pasta, you know? I need something like Pepsi. A lot of you guys think that Emma is Hispanic. I'm um, not. <laughs> I'm not Hispanic at all. Emma is white. I'm Italian. Sorry guys. Sorry to disappoint you. I can't speak a league of, like a Spanish. Okay, so Tyson got this new game. You have five seconds to answer the prompt. Five seconds. All right. Five seconds. Name three things that you can bet on. Uh, gambling, uh, racing horses, um, uh, and and girl. Gambling is <laughs> Give him another one. Name another one. Three colors your poop could be. Oh, a yellow, green, and black. Good morning, I just woke up. It is so cold in this apartment at night. Like I literally slept in this. I've been sleeping in this the past couple nights and I haven't woken up once and I normally wake up in the middle of the night burning up. So I know it's been freezing. How'd you sleep, babe? It gets cold in the bedroom, but it's warm in here. I did the sun. The sun is gleaming in and it's so bright. Like literally it's in my eyes. That's what I mean. No complaints though. It's fine. So today we're going to be making tea and then I'm going to show you guys what I've been eating for breakfast lately. It's nothing too crazy. It's very low effort, but it's a little bit more healthy. So it's kind of like a good mix between like not having the energy to cook yourself food and also just getting something good in your body. Wait.
Okay, so here it is the breakfast. We have my signature hot unsweet tea. Been drinking this since I was a kid. Can't live without it. We have two clementines, a cheese stick for dairy. We have cucumber with tzatziki sauce. We have four strawberries, a spoonful of peanut butter for protein. And I guess avocado is gonna give me protein too with everything bagel seasoning on it. Pretty good, pretty low effort. I didn't have to cook anything. It just took a second to like just put everything on the plate. But other than that, super easy. It like keeps me full for a while. So win-win, you know, it's better for me than not eating. So, Zach, what are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Quick outfit of the day. I'm running a little bit late, so you know, this is, I feel like this is the basic Megan outfit. I'm always wearing something just like this, but I'm running late and we're gonna go get tattooed. Not you guys. Look at I am already tatted. You're tatted. Every time I go get a tattoo, the artist is like, so is your husband gonna get any more tattoos? I said, nah, I think he just I got him. full forearm tattoo. I think he just, <laughs> the <laughs> symmetry kills me. I tell them all that I think you just got tattoos because you thought that that was like a way to win my heart by getting tattoos. No, I thought it was Cool. And I still think it's cool. But like, what else am I gonna get? I don't know, like time flies and- I'll You should commemorate all of your shirts. So every shirt that you have, you take something from it and slap it on your arm. I should get Bitcoin to the moon up. Oh my gosh. And then see that? I have vetoed a couple ideas from Zach. I try to be a very supportive wife, but when <laughs> Zach told me he wanted a realistic cryptocurrency sleeve, I said, no. I need to get a tattoo here and here on the gun. Brett, one of Brett Favre, one That's of Aaron show. Rodgers. Wait, look at this, I look muscular on cam. Wait, hold on. Oh. That's really great. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Love I seriously lost my car again. I've just been running up the ramp until I found her. Literally, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know how I keep on losing my car, but it's driving me bananas. I am still definitely getting the hang of living in the city. I'm gonna have to start leaving 15 minutes early than I would have for everything because there was a, a Stars game right downstairs going on because we live right across from the American Airlines Center and it's just like <laughs> traffic everywhere. So now I'm feeling super stressed. I mean, I'm gonna be about nine minutes late. Normally there's like a 15 minute cancellation policy. Like, oh, if you're 15 minutes late, we cancel your appointment. Mm, like I just, I feel so bad. I wasn't supposed to be late at all, but it literally took me 10 minutes to find my car. I like went up and down the elevator. I just could not find it. So lesson learned, I'm gonna have to like find a consistent parking spot so that I can just <laughs> stay in the same spot. Guys. I just got my elbow tattooed. Ah, okay, okay, I know that sounds like silly, so I I was not expecting to get my, tat my, my elbow tattooed today. So basically, a uh, content warning may be bloody, may be plasma-y. I was not expecting to get my, tat my elbow tattooed, and then I did. So basically, I was like, yeah, I want like face filled, like this, perfect, you know? And then it's like, well, yeah, Megan, your elbow's there, duh. Basically, when Linda put the stencil on, I've been tattooed by Linda before multiple times. She does like all of these like all these dark work this one this one this one this one <laughs> the new one this one this one a lot of them I was like you know what I trust her this is where the stencil is and yeah that makes sense that's where the blank spot was on my elbow I feel so silly it was literally the most painful tattoo I've ever gotten <sighs> like so this part right here on the side when the machine rattled me there I felt it all the way here and my lady like my in my boob and it just hurt so bad and I got so nauseous and then the elbow didn't hurt I'm sorry it's like kind of bloody the elbow didn't hurt as bad but it just definitely <sighs> You know what, it hurts. Anyone who tells you tattoos don't hurt, they hurt. And I think that's funny because I think I just said that this one didn't really hurt because it didn't. I think the difference, so basically, not that anybody's asking about a lesson in tattoos. Like I'm like, I, I'm like covered in them and I'm finally just like kind of learning it. So Linda, she use, usually uses a traditional tattoo machine. It's very loud and And then she switched like to an electronic machine in the middle of it and that one didn't hurt as bad. Um, the placement did hurt because it is on my elbow. So I think like, depending on your artist it will or will not hurt everything I've ever gotten by Linda hurts this one hurt the most I'm nauseous I'm about to go hang out with friends I'm sorry if it's like bloody and I got this free liquid death so the sparkling water I know it looks kind of scary. it's just water so I'm glad that's over with oh I also got these I'm gonna taste test them back later we have like they're like cucumber extravaganza it's like naturally flavored cucumber candy with chili lime and a touch of sea salt and then I got it with you know watermelon and mango so I'm excited to try this when I get home. I can't reach it. There you go. Oh 
Okay, it's time to taste test these little candies. They weren't too expensive. I guess they were $6 a pack, which actually is kind of expensive. Was this at the tattoo place? Yeah, I thought we could try them. So we have cucumber, watermelon, and mango. They're hard. I know, like, let's just give them oh. a try. Which one do you want to try this first? This one, this one first, for cucumber sure. Cucumber extravaganza. Now guys, when I was at my tattoo appointment, oh, they're not what I was expecting. What, what are they? Were? I don't know. What are they? Are they they're like, like just little hard candy. Oh, they're hard candies. Yeah. I don't know why I thought they'd be like kind of dry candy fruit things. They're brittle enough to where you can just lightly tap them with your teeth and they break up. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Tastes like cucumber. That's a heat. Well, that's really poor. Oh, that's in the center, yeah. It just exploded all over my tongue. Naturally flavored cucumber candy filled with chili, lime, and a touch of sea salt. It's actually really, really good. Wow, that is good. Okay, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so giant next to you. Uh oh, Ted's on the counter. Ted. Come here, little bud. So, when I was at my tattoo appointment, I was talking to Linda, and I was telling her how my second skin, which is the thing that covers your tattoos, content warning blood. Wait, aren't we rating candy? Yeah, I'm just trying to tell you something. Oh. So basically, these second skins, I told her that on me, they get really crusty and dried out after like a day of wearing them, and I usually have to take them off, which is weird, because I used to be able to wear them for the entire four days that you're supposed to wear them. And she was like, Megan, you might have a latex allergy. And I was like, what? There's no way I have a latex allergy. And she's like, no, that happens like if you have a latex allergy. And I was like, I can't possibly have one of those. And there was a guy next to me. I don't know if he was being initiated for getting this first tattoo, but they basically wrapped him up in like cotton and trash bag and tape basically. And um, I told her, I said, yeah, when I get wrapped with like tape, the next morning I wake up and I have, I'm red. It hurts so bad and I have hives. And she's like, you have a latex allergy. Anyway, now I'm like, oh my gosh, do I have a latex allergy? That would be bad. So we're gonna see. My elbow hurts very, very bad. Divine watermelon. Uh, this is also filled with chili lime and a touch of sea salt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The outside's like really good. I think the inside's good too of the other one. Yeah, they're good. I just haven't, I haven't opened it yet. I haven't, I haven't been into it yet. It chews really easy. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Mm. Mm. I can see the, why these are $6. <laughs> they're really good. Cause I'd say like a bag like this of just like peppermint, which are cheap sucky candy. These are high like quality. These are high quality. So these are by the brand Sugar Box. It's like ta Tama, I can't read backwards like that. Tama Lizzo? Tama Lizzo? It probably. Tama Lizzo. I'm probably. Tamalitos. Tamalitos. That could make more sense. I'm probably butchering it by Sugar Rock. So these are really tasty. This is lip smacking mango. Mm -hmm. Mango candy with chili, lime, and a touch of sea salt. So this is kind of what they all look like if we didn't show before. So this is kind of what they look like with their respective colors. The watermelon has green, the cucumber Ted. has green. He's in the sink. Oh gosh. Ted. No fun for Ted. Mm. Ooh, some of them are spicy, like very spicy. That one's, no, yeah, this one was really spicy. So on the watermelon one, the powder in it was kind of like put together and like solidified, but the powder inside the cucumber one like exploded in my mouth. Anyway, I'm gonna rate the candy 10 out of 10. What do you think? Oh, I have nothing to give it 10 out of 10. It's addicting. I think I like the cucumber and watermelon one's the best. Uh-huh. The cucumber's my favorite. The mango didn't taste like much after the watermelon one. Honestly, the watermelon one wasn't intense for me, so I think they vary. I think each piece is unique. So cute. Moshi has really found out how much she loves the cloud couch. She has laid here for three days straight. Like, she loves this couch. Hi, Mosh. So cute. Oh my gosh. She loves it. She looks so cute on it, Moshi. You're so cute. Okay, so unfortunately, I have ended up back in bed. It is about six PM, I am suffering one of those infamous hormonal migraines where basically my entire body shuts down and I get really nauseous and sick and I'm in a lot of pain. If anybody has a peach, <laughs> We got the dogs here. If anybody has experienced hormonal migraines, let me know what you do to combat them. Um, I'm really disappointed because I wanted to go have fun today, but I just, I can't, it's really hard. So basically, I'm sad because I actually vlogged the last one of these I had and I don't think it was over. I don't, I don't even think it was like a month ago. So that's really unfortunate. I don't want them to get more frequent. So if you guys have any advice, I'd love to know it. But that's where we'll end today's vlog. Do not forget to hashtag stay peachy, stay kind, and I'll Talk to you guys next time. Bye.